How do you do, Ranger Roos? Welcome to Dr. Box, um, YouTube channel of Autodesk Inventoring and Engineering work. We are going to keep on working on some multi-view stuff that we're doing. This is what we're working on right now. It's sort of a, um, you know, just a, a different profile going on. It's got two steps, one that's through all here and one that goes in. It is, if the scale is right here, it is a three by three. Let's see, one, two, three, and three high. And it is 1.5 wide. Now, stick around till the end of this shape because we are going to do a annotated or a dimensioned multi view. So make sure you don't just think that you have to do this the shape, this model. You're also going to be doing the multi view. So let's minimize this. I am going to be reading this off another screen so I can keep with the uh, dimensions. So file, new part, start the 2D sketch, choose the XY plane, rectangle, origin, three, tab, three, because it is a three by three square. Finish the sketch and it is one and a half thick. So extrude and change it to 1.5. There we go. Now, when we look at this, it's got two steps here. So I'm going to start with the first step. Start 2D sketch, and I'm going to use the rectangle tool. Make sure the rectangle tool clicks on that corner, and then... Let's see, what size is this? It is one, two, and one, two. It is two by two. So two, tab, two, and there we go. That is the beginnings of that. Finish the sketch and click extrude. Now you're used to extrude coming out this way. We can use this one, the direction two or the flipped and change this to 0.75 and okay and that gives us our first step back here we've got a second little bite that goes all the way through and that is one by one so 2d sketch right here same thing rectangle make sure it clicks on that one tab one Hit enter, finish sketch, and we're going to do the same way. Extrude, but now I'm going to click on this one right here that says through all. Click on through all, and OK. OK. And now we have our finished um, shape right there. Make sure you save this. You want to save this as 1.2.4 number 2. So file, save as and i recommend that you save it on the desktop once you have that saved you're going to have this shape right here and it's time to do the drawing so file new drawing and it brings you up to your big sheet of paper click base and i want you to do this at two to one so it's a little bit larger so okay and that is our base because i'm all about that base all about that base uh, engineering. Click on projected, and because this is a simple shape, I only need, oh, click that right there, and I want the isometric view as well. Create. So this is our basic shape, and you can see that it matches that very, very well. Now it's time to do some dimensioning, and in order to dimension it, I know in my previous video, I showed you step-by-step step how to do it using the dimension. This is a slightly easier way. It's sloppy. It doesn't uh, do it perfect. And sometimes there's some redundant dimensions. But again, on this assignment, since you're just getting the hand of dimensioning, it's okay. Right click, and we are going to click on ret retrieve model annotations. Boom, right there and then apply. You'll have to close this, and if I zoom in, you can see the dimensions are there. Now, these are a little bit small, so I want to enlarge on them. So I will go to Manage, Styles Editor, Note Text, 
and then text height 0.24, save and close. There we go. Now I can at least make these a little bit more attractive right here so that they are readable. Okay, so there is my annotations there and I can do the same thing on this one. Right click and retrieve model annotations. Click on apply, close this the same way. I can make this a little bit more presentable. There we go. And there we have it, a slightly easier way to dimension things. Um, and it wasn't too bad whatsoever. So that is this video. Make sure that you uh, take a screenshot of this completed and you take a screenshot of the uh, actual modeled object as well. Stop this video, rewind, and replay as many times as you need in order to get the concept.